right, there we go, live. There we go, live. Here we go, round the mulberry bush. Ooh, I need to paint on a face. I do. It's fine. It happens, right? Um, hey, so apologies to whomever it was. Again, I am not 100% good with names, but um, here I am, 1 o'clock, 1 p.m., as promised. Uh, Destination Decluttered TikTok Live for the next hour or so on a Friday. Yeah, a Friday TikTok Live. Hmm, why not? You know, hello, Tulip and Stacy and German Made 95 and Amy and user 5942 Oh, that just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? And Sally and Carolyn and Cat Mama and Michelle and Heya, Barbara Jean 777. So good to see you as well. Nurse Anita, I'm saying hey. Hey, C. Fitz Henry, what's up? Long time and we'll see, huh? Lay, nice to see you. Or Lee and Beaner and Joe Lawls and all the peoples. Yay, good stuff. Denise, Diane, yay, it works. It's working. Look, it's working, you guys. I said I'd show up and I showed up. Um, here, check this out. While we're not necessarily waiting for other people, but let me share you something fun. See this? See these? I am so lucky. My friend made me these earrings. I haven't even tried them on yet, but I think they, to me, they're kind of glamorous, All right? Let me see if I can fit them in. Yep, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Pretty dramatic, huh? She made me these ones. Oops, I have like no lobes, so here we go. Uh, uh, Milena, Milana, I got, there we go. Okay. All right. Jess, Jess there. Okay, Jess, user 5949 Broody Blop. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Romper Room. I miss Jean. I miss Beth. This thing of Romper Room. Um, you are there. Yes, aren't those kind of glamorous? And then these ones, I'm going to Palm Springs, my happy place. And she made me these as well. Aren't those cool? My friend Minty. Who, who does all things breeze block out in Palm Springs, made these little things. Then my friend Marianne made me these earrings. So pretty glamorous, huh? If you're in Palm Springs this weekend, you might see me. You may know me by the wiggle of my earrings. But pretty cool stuff, huh? All right, so enough about me. Let's get to you. So, okay. Well, you know what? Let's get to you, and I'm here for you. Again, we haven't met, if we haven't met before, um, the neat thing is, is the folks who are, are like, oh yeah, we know this part. It's cool. You know that I always like to be polite and welcome the newcomers. Okay. Yes, they are supposed to look like breeze blocks. They are. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? I love it. Um, uh, for those of you who are new here, my name is Beth. I am a decluttering life coach. Um, what does that mean? It means I help you when you're stuck with your decluttering. Am I right? I'm right. I got some some folks on here. I love doing this. I really do because I know what it's like to be cluttered and stuck. I also know what it's like to be less cluttered and less stuck. And let me tell you, if you have choice of one or the other, I highly recommend less cluttered and unstuck, moving in the right direction, feeling good. Feeling good is what it's all about. Because if you don't feel good, if you don't feel like you want to do it, then you're not going to do it. I'm saying, am I right? But that's a rhetorical question because I am right. Because I do TikTok lives quite often, different days and times every week. There's a weird noise I'm hearing. Hold on. <laughs> I thought it was a buzz. It's my husband who's got the, he's playing the guitar. Um, okay. It's, it'll just be the background. I don't think any of you guys can hear it. Um, where was I? Destination Decluttered, that's me, Beth. Hey, how are you? You may be struggling with clutter, it's okay. I know what it's like, I've been there. Let me help you out of it. Let me pull you out of the, um, out of the, the what was it? Somebody said, is it only Gen X who's afraid of quicksand? Um, let me pull, pull you out of the quicksand if you want to. If you want help getting out of the quicksand, I'm here for you. If you don't want help, if you don't think you deserve help, that's another thing. But I love it. Some people are already kind of tuning in saying, decluttering today, says Milena. I have so many trash bags full and ready to donate. Good. Donating will help. Yay. I love it. I love it. Good afternoon, Dana from Virginia. Um, Rosalind is saying, I'm having no closet and bedroom. I'm ready to trash everything but the bed. Yeah, okay. Um, love it. Barbara Dean is saying, putting my, on my ear pods to listen as I work. Quick aside, I remember being popular in school for about 15 minutes. Let me tell you about it. Once upon a time, back in, in kindergarten at the, Carter, the Avery School, I remember being popular because I could whistle the theme song to 
lost in space. It was about the last and only time I was popular in school, but it, it was kind of fun. Um, okay, so Barbara Dean is putting on her ear pods to listen and get motivated. Do the same thing, you guys. When I do these TikTok lives, seeing what I do on the um, on the screen is secondary to what you hear, what I say, and how you absorb it, and how you allow it to change your life. So you don't have to look at the screen for this to help you. If anything, if you're listening um, and decluttering, that's kind of a you know a double a double awesome whammy because that means you're going to be at the end of this hour, you're going to get a lot of information. Um, to help you get unstuck and get motivated and to keep that way, but also that you will also have decluttered as you have listened instead of just doing one thing. This is where it's okay to kind of multitask. Consider what I'm doing, almost like a live, like a live podcast. Like you don't even have to look. You can just hear it while you're going around. Now, sometimes those of you, those of us actually, those of us who have voices in our heads that like to chatter away all the time, like kind of chit chatty little kids in the back seat. The wonderful thing about listening to something while you are decluttering is, especially, I will say this, it works best with surface clutter. Um, surface clutter is just the stuff on the surface that you know what to do with and it just needs to go where it belongs because it's not where it belongs. That's the best use of this decluttering time. However, when you start to get into your stored clutter and your sentimental clutter, that's when I recommend you don't listen to me out here, but you listen to yourself in here and tell yourself good stories, okay? So for example, Rosalind is having no closet. You have no closet in your bedroom. That is unfortunate, but there are other ways you can store your items. It doesn't have to be in the bedroom. Notice where you have other places to store things, maybe under your bed. Maybe you can get some totes, pull your things under your bed. Get creative, look for solutions. If you don't look for a solution, you're not gonna find a solution. I can help with that because I'm really good at that. I love solving problems and I love creating order out of chaos. That's why I decided to create this decluttering life coaching life that I have and I freaking love it, okay? So um, notice that, okay? People tell me to do it even if you don't feel like it, okay? Yeah, who are people? People, people who like to bully you, people who say suck it up buttercup. I will say this, if you do it even though you don't feel like it, you may get it done or you may double down and say, nope, not going to do it until I feel like it. But let me ask you this. What do you do to encourage yourself to feel more like doing it? Okay. Notice what you're doing and what you're not doing. Now, I myself sometimes say, okay, yep, if I've chunked it down, I can do this a little bit. But if it's like suck it up and just do it and it doesn't matter how you feel, you are not a machine. You are not a factory worker. You are not a robot. You are a human being. You have energy or lack thereof. You have focus or lack thereof. You have motivation or lack thereof. You have a little bit in between and every day, the, the levels on each one of those, on each one of those tanks, like a gas tank in a car, each one of those tanks has a little bit of different energy. Usually our decision-making energy uh, wanes throughout the day. Every time we make a decision, that tank kind of empties. The next day is a little bit more refilled when we've refreshed ourselves and, and um, slept. But if you haven't slept well, maybe your tank is only up to half. Pay attention, people. Pay attention to how you feel. And if you're not feeling like doing it, get curious about it. Do not get judgy. Do not get bossy. Do not get mad at yourself. That will not help you find out why you're not feeling like doing it. And then when you discover why you're not feeling like doing it, you can change it. But if you're all mad at yourself and mean and grumpy, that's going to shut you down. Okay. Trisha is on day three of 40 bags in 40 days. Rock on day three. Yay. Little Liz Lemon High Five. Okay. 40 bags of stuff. I love it. Okay. Charmed life for me too. Yes, you should have a charmed life. Um, notice what they're writing. And I'm, I repeat these so you don't have to watch the... Um, the screen while I'm doing this, but also my TikTok lives are downloaded from um, TikTok and uploaded to YouTube. So this is for the YouTube people who don't see the running chatter here. But Charm Life for me says, afraid, notice the word, afraid, fear-based, afraid to throw out stuff because I've regretted some of my previous decluttering decisions. Now, decluttering is an art, not a science. You will most likely do not set yourself up for perfection. 
I have done this myself, even in the time that I have been a conscious decluttering life coach, I have gotten rid of, donated something that later I thought, wow, I kind of wish I had that thing I donated. Okay, it is going to happen. When you expect it to happen, you won't be surprised when it does. But I want you to feel good. Remember I talked about feeling whether you're doing it or not? Feeling, 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 feeling. Not just your physical body, but your energetic body. When you feel like doing it, you're going to do it. When your decision to keep something feels good, make that decision. When your decision to let something go feels good, let it go. And feel okay if you have decluttered the right way. That to me is decluttering the right way. Previously, previous decluttering decisions may not have taken into account how you feel about it, whether you might regret it later. Maybe you just pitched and ditched. Maybe you threw it all out and said, I'm gonna start a clean slate. But if you don't do it in a way that feels right to you, you may have regrets, you have a few, but then again, too few to mention. Now, again, I will say this, it will happen. You will probably donate something that later on you said you kind of wish you didn't. But ask yourself, will I regret this? Is there a place? Do I think I'm actually going to wear this? Do I think I'm actually going to use this? And if the answers are, yeah, pretty much no, feel okay about your decisions. Okay? Start to feel good about the decisions you're making because the decisions you make create the life you have. Does it sound like I've been coaching all morning? I've been coaching all morning. The decisions you make create the life you have or the life you don't have. Is the life you have, oh, now this is up. You know what? I can feel it already here, you guys. Oh, I didn't mean for this to happen. It's going to happen anyway. It's live, live TV. Um, is the life you have one you're psyched about? If it isn't, for the love of all that is worthy in life, you deserve to do something about it. Do it sooner rather than later. I am dancing around the fact. I'll, I, I notice I just notice I just said that. Talk about a feeling, okay, you guys. I can't talk about it now. Maybe during the week. I, I mean, not the week. I will, because I'm going to burst into tears. But I really mean this sincerely, and I'm talking from my heart and my soul. Get on the fucking stick and start living the life you want right now right now this is where i'll be a bit bossy but boy is there a whole bunch of freaking love behind my bossiness your life is finite your life is not going to be around as long as you think it's going to be even no matter how old you are you probably have now i mean okay maybe you 20s and 30s is and 40s is you probably if you're my age you have fewer decades ahead of you than you do behind you I'm not going to be living to 116. I was thinking about this today to be like, oh my gosh, I 30 years, I'd be psyched with 30 years. I will be psyched with every moment I have. But you, sorry, just hit the wrong thing here. Oh, why can't I get rid of that? Thank you. If you're not living a life, if your home is cluttered, what is stopping you from starting right now? What is stopping you from living a life you want? Okay? The one you deserve. Okay. I, okay. Everybody's saying I needed to hear this. All right. Today I'm going to be going deep. All right. Um, yeah. The decisions you make, what you do now is going to make the life you have tomorrow. What you do this year is going to make the life you have next year. What you do now is even going to make a difference in the week. Okay. Oh, okay. My mother's at the dentist. No big deal. I had a friend pass away yesterday, the day before. I found out about it last night. She was my age. She was. This was kind of expected because she was sick, but kind of not because nobody nobody knows. I've been texting her on Monday. Do you want some cookies? I'm bringing some quiche. I'm at this bakery because I had a doctor's appointment. You want me to bring you something? No, I'm good. Okay, no big deal. I got a call last night. She's gone. She has no more days ahead of her. Now, I don't want that to happen to you before you live the life you were put on this earth to live, okay? Death is going to happen to every single one of us. We all were given a certain amount of days on the, on the, the, the earth. None of us know how many we have ahead of us. 
the sooner you start living the life you love, the more you have more quality in the quantity that you have. If you postpone it, you say, oh, I'll start tomorrow, you've just missed a day that you could be on your way. And here's the wonderful thing, is being on the way there can be just as fun as getting there. The journey, the look at what I'm doing today to make the life I want. I am in control. I am making decisions that feel good. Because the opposite is, you say tomorrow, 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 the next thing you know, a decade has passed and you're in the same place or worse, and you have fewer days ahead of you than you do behind you. Okay. Um, but notice, notice what just happened to me, even in this, if you're kind of, you're going to feel feelings when you're going through your sentimental clutter, you're going to feel feelings when you declare to yourself, I'm going to make my life different than it is different strategically, different from how it is now, and more like how I want it to be. You will feel things, you will do different things, but it's worth it. It is worth it. You can feel feelings and go get through them and honor them and feel them and then come out on the other side and be even more dedicated to what you want to do. You know, um, notice I had a hard time talking. If I was afraid of feeling feelings, I kind of tamped it down, but I said, I'm going to feel this. It barely lasted a minute. And I mean that in a really encouraging way that if you're afraid of feeling feelings, they don't last for forever, both the good and the bad, but especially the bad ones are what we're afraid of. Notice how I could do that in real time right there. Couple of deep breaths. And I feel better. I feel sad for my friend. But here, you know what? I'm here with you right now. What can you do today to make your life incrementally better even today? The increments add up. Okay. Um, I love it. Miss Hencredible says, I can never help but stopping to listen to you. You are amazing. Thank you. I am just, here's the deal. Thank you for making me think, or no, thank you for thinking I'm amazing. I am just a regular person on this earth who is learning from her mistakes and learning from what's working and getting excited, ha having decided to be excited about what I'm heading towards versus fearing it. And I'm doing things differently and it's working and it feels good. And it is not as difficult as I used to think it was. I want to encourage you to feel the same way. Okay, um, Deanne is saying, I always feel like I'm gonna wear it or use it. Okay, so wear it or use it. Deanne, yeah, it could be ADHD. And the ADHD is just a way of your brain uh, processing information. If you think you're going to wear it, then take the next step. Make a plan to wear it. When am I gonna wear this next? Put a date on the calendar. I'm gonna wear that dress on this date. I'm going to use my crock pot on this date. Take the next step. Someday, is very vague. That's going to get you vague results. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So what do we got here? Uh, okay. G Harper turned 55. I feel this. Yeah. My friend was 57, two years. So can you imagine if you were only around here for two years? What if we were all told we only had two years left? Boy, would we be doing something different right now to make sure that these next two years were mwah, chef's kiss. And I will tell you, I'm going to share this story with you. I was thinking about it in the shower today, about even taking that first step in the right direction can feel glorious. And staying on that path can feel glorious too. Even if you lose your way, you can find your way. 2016, I quit a well-paying job in corporate America that was, was creating grief in my life. I had never really wanted it. But I was doing it for all those reasons you're supposed to. And then it got to a point where I was like, I cannot live this way anymore. And they were, they were railroading me down a path I didn't want. I say this because in about 12 hours or so, I am going to be um, on, in an airport. I said I sped some words to somebody in an airport that changed the trajectory of my life. The Austin, Texas airport. I can name the time of day and the day. I probably have it on my calendar where I said, hey... I don't want to work here anymore. I have some ideas of how to get me out of here, but I have some things that before I die, I want to, I want to know I explored. When I'm on my deathbed, I want to know that I gave this idea a shot. Now, here's the wonderful thing. I will tell you from the moment I made that declaration and, and literally changed the direction of my life because I had started something in motion, but it was in motion towards something I really wanted. I was kind of scared because I, rare, I had rarely done that. Now I do it a lot more, but I remember calling my husband and saying, I did it. I spoke up, I told them, and 
I said, I just want you to know that even if this plane goes down, look at me, I'm like old fashioned, I'm still on an old fashioned phone. <laughs> even if this plane goes down on my way home, I want you to know that I feel so good about what I did that at least I was like, at least I started. Now, of course, the plane didn't go down and I'm here years later, but don't regret the decisions you're, you know what I mean? Don't have regrets, have memories. Not everything's gonna work out, but at least you'll have the memory and you can learn from it, okay? So notice these things, okay? And yeah, yeah, I've been feeling the reality of how old my friends are. And this isn't just a TV show we watch. This is us, it's gonna be us someday and none of us know this, okay? So there we go, yeah, there we go, yep. Cat Mama saying, so sorry, a message right on. Went to the cemetery today. Talk about a sobering thing. Lost mom in August, thinking about my own time with my illness, yeah. Quality of life, people, quality of life. What is your quality of life? Yeah, virtual cat, I love that you are working on breaking the generational cycle of clutter keeping. You are helping the other generations, but you're helping yourself too, okay? All right, you don't know me as saying, I'm trying to downsize from 1,600 square feet to nine. I love how you put the little square footy thing. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm trying to downsize from 1,600 square feet to 960 square feet. It's hard. If you tell yourself it's hard, I will say this. If you tell yourself it's hard, it will feel harder than if you said, I can do this. Notice a simple change of phrase, a simple statement. This could be easy. This could be easier than I thought. Making decisions, making decisions, but say to yourself, do I really need this thing? Do I really need or want this thing? If this was, if this, if we were playing like an internal traffic signal, does this light up a green light in my heart or maybe a yellow light in my body or a, or a red light? Like, do I really want it? Do I kind of want it? Do I not want it at all? Pay attention to how your things make you feel and you'll live a life that feels better. Okay. Um, I love it. Listening to you, Barbara says, listening to you makes me feel like someone is visiting while I clean. Yeah, that you know what? In the ADHD world, we call that body doubling. I like to think of this. I want to show up in your life as a temporary co-pilot. Yeah. What does that mean? It means that I bet all you've been listening to for your life or for a long time are your backseat drivers. Those voices in your head that probably started externally, they started as somebody else's voice and then you suddenly became it became your own so now you're you're keeping yourself down with your words that started from somebody else you've probably been listening to them and when you listen to them how do they feel how does that make you feel and what do you do when you listen to those unhelpful thoughts i like to come in as a reminder that there's another way of thinking and feeling and doing stuff and that's on the side of instead of judgment and fear is love and curiosity and possibility I show up to quiet down those backseat drivers because notice how I pretty much talk all the time on these. Because when you quiet them down and you allow yourself to listen, not just with your ears, but with your nervous system and your heart to somebody who is encouraging you to remind you to do, to live the life you want, to say, you got this, no matter what you want your home, your life and home to look like, you can do it. You're worthy of it. You, you deserve to begin this journey. I can help you. You're not alone. It won't be that bad. How good does it feel when you just hear those voices? Now, that may encourage you. Notice, people are like, oh, this makes it easier for me to do these things. Yes, <laughs> I am all about the easing, the easier. All about ease, I joke, is gonna be my book title, is when it feels easy, you're gonna be more likely to show up to do the thing. Yeah, um, so let's make it feel easy. And a lot of times what's gonna make it feel easy Notice I use the word feel. I'm a certified life coach. This is what I intertwine into my, my um, decluttering. It's not just about buying plastic bins and you know saying this. It's decision-making, decision-making that feels good to you. Decisions that feel good to you that lead in the direction that you want. Okay? So, yeah. And, aw, ID Princess saying Beth is great and her coaching is amazing. Aw, why shucks, thank you. But you know what? I speak from experience. I speak from first freaking hand experience and second hand experience and third hand experience from all the experiences. Look at me, all these hands. First hand experience. I've been where you are. I know how it feels. I know how it feels. And I know how scary it can be to um, do something different, to pay for coaching for crying out loud. I remember being like, I got it. I got it. I got it. I did get it for a long time, but man, was it a shortcut like nobody's business 
to pony up and say, this investment is worth it. And boy, did I get so much out of it that that's why I was like, oh my gosh, if this helped me, I want to help other people. Okay. Um, I love it. Into four bins of candle wick. Oh, interesting. Going to photo photographer's dad to help him sort through pictures, pictures to gift. Yeah. Notice when you learn how to declutter, you can help other people. Yes. And Trisha is saying, removing the clutter from my home has started removing the clutter from my mind. Yeah. Isn't that a good feeling? Notice that. Notice when it feels good. You want to do more of what feels good. You want to do less of what doesn't feel good. Now, I don't say like just wait around until the halcyon moment where you're like, oh, I feel. No, oftentimes what you need to do is you need to learn skills and tricks and things in your toolkit to encourage you to make things that you, quote, have to do into things that you don't mind doing. I don't want to say you're going to love doing the dishes or fall in love with doing the laundry, but how about the feeling of having them done? How about the feeling of being able to easily find a towel or easily find a matching pair of socks that fit you really well and look really good at a moment's notice? Being able to just live in a home that makes your eyes go, ah, oh, when you scan around and all it does is send you good messages through your, your you know, reticular activating system, you know? Yeah, more of that, please. Trust me, it's so much better than the alternative. But unless you start, you're going to stick where you are. You know, you can do this and you can, you can like champion yourself. But if your nervous system is activated and is like, I don't know, I don't know. Shh, calm it down. Calm it down. Notice the calm in your mind. Slow it down. Chunk it down. Oh, I'm not, I get, I got a, oh, actually, where is it? You know what? Somebody was asking me, somebody sent me an email. I just looked up at this about stickers that have a bunch of my signs on it. I'm playing with this, but notice this one. I made it slow down, breathe down, <sighs> write it down and chunk it down. Those are a few of the downs. Okay. There's a few of the downs. When you take into consideration what's going on down here, not just up here, not just I have this list of things to do and I have to do it no matter what. When you work with your nervous system, your feeling body, and when things feel better, you're going to do better. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Trish, yeah. Notice, notice that kind of teach my kiddos to be thankful that we had food to eat then that the dirt, dish is dirtied. Yeah. Um, notice to be grateful for all the things you have. Notice that you get to take another breath today. Some people don't. Some people don't. So be grateful for every freaking thing you have that's good. And then be grateful you have the opportunity to change what you can change. Okay, you don't know me as saying how many articles of clothing would be appropriate. Same with shoes. You know that answer. Only you know, only you can prevent forest fires. Um, how often do you want to do laundry? You want to do laundry less frequently, but have it pile up, buy a bunch of stuff. You want to do laundry maybe a little bit more regularly, but you have a smaller number of items to deal with. Do that. Find a level that feels right to you. Get down to that level and then... Um, work on it. And then when you feel better at that level, say, do I need to get rid of anything else? Or do I feel good at this? Oh, what happens if I get rid of these shoes? I don't know. I want to keep those. Okay. Notice that. Have a conversation with yourself. Okay. Aw, Dan Zill says, 58 says, you're so strong to be here helping with us. You rock. You know what? Again, I have the gift of being around here and being alive and fucking loving my life. If I died tomorrow when I'm on that plane or even today, who knows? I would feel really good about what I made of my life. And that's only happened in the past, well, 25, 20, 15, you know, whatever. Quality of life has risen the more I have learned about myself and what to, how to, to even believe that I can live the life that I wanted to live. I was told for years, oh, you, no, you can't do that. You have to do this. You can't do that. You have to do this. Don't be that way. Be this way. Don't do that. Don't like that, like this, literally. And so I, for years, didn't even, I, I, felt, I felt insecure about the things that, that kind of pulled at my heartstrings. And then I tried to live their life for me and boy, did it not work. And I made a decision to stop that and to start something else that was at least not that. And slowly but surely, slowly but surely is how everything changes, you guys. Slowly but surely, I walked towards the destination of the life that I currently have, but I never would be here if I hadn't started, okay? 
Yes, and uh, Sifa Tenry, totally spot on. Experts say people wear 20% of their clothes 80% of the time. You do it. Yep, Danzel, 58, my work is done here. You're making me think. Think. That's one of the things we have the ability to do as humans, is to think, but also to think differently than we have in the past. To change our minds. If the way you have been thinking in the past has gotten you to a today that ain't feeling so great, you can practice, you can learn to think differently, to make yourself feel differently, and then you will do different things, and then you will get a different result. You know, it's so true. It is. I am a perfect example of that, and I'm happy to be. And the great thing is, is my life looks very little what like my parents would want, but I am so blissfully happy. It's so funny, my, my, my face is so serious about it. But seriously, I love it. I know that they would want me to be happy. They do want me to be happy. I'm a better person for them because I am happy. Because I have the life that I want, not the one that they thought I wanted. Okay? So it starts with you saying even, what life do I want? Now, that can be overwhelming. I know. Life? I don't know. My, I can't even think of that. My mother calling me. I think she's going to be okay. Um, oh. You know what? Let me just do this. This is really funny. I was getting all deep, and then I got distracted. I want to make sure my mother's okay. So I'm going to yell down the hall. Anybody ever yell down the hall to their their um, significant other? Here, watch how, how it goes. If you have never yelled down the hall to your significant other, this is how you do it. Okay. Hey, boo-boo. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you just text my mother and let her know I'm doing a TikTok live? Yeah. I think everything's okay, but just to make sure, okay? okay. All right. Thank you. All right, see how that happens? Isn't it great to have people to help? I just want to make sure my mom's okay. I had a feeling last night when I got the call from my friend that my friends don't call me unless it's something's up. So I answered that one. But I also want to make sure my mom's okay. Um, <laughs> um, and yep, okay, she just left me voicemail. I'm helping her with her cluttered paperwork and she was she was in the dentist office when I got in touch with her. But I'm here with you now, so where were we? I'm just trying to encourage you to live a life you wanna live. And if it sounds scary to even think that because it's such a foreign freaking concept of living a life you want to versus a life you have to, is let's start with the stakes even lower. How about just making your house look and feel and function better? Your home, I say house, but I just mean wherever you live, making that look and feel and function better um, is gonna make you, give you experience in making decisions that feel good about yourself that show a visible result. You've seen my house, I got green walls, I got orange walls, I got blue walls, I got you know, yellow walls, I got white walls, got all the walls. Practice making decisions that feel good to you and sticking by them. Show up for yourself, okay? Show up for yourself like that, okay? And, um, yep, I'm, th I'm glad I'm, I'm helping you feel motivated. Notice how all I'm doing is saying words, but words are powerful. Now I'm feeling like I should be like, you know, my pop culture brain immediately went to the Tom Tom Club, um, but I can't do any word, word, wordly rapping hood at the moment. But words have such power. We as humans, we tell ourselves stories to make sense of the world. If the stories you're telling you are making you feel like crap, stop telling yourself those stories. Start telling yourself some better stories, stories that make you feel better, that take the power for, that you've given to other people back to you and that help you do things to get the life you want. Okay? I love it. TYAA says, my husband was so wonderful last night. He helped me clean our one room. I needed help, but I will offer this too. It is your room. He helped you. Now I get a little bit picky about these things, but I know it. We as women, and I'm assuming, and that's totally an assumption on my part that you're a woman. I don't know. We as female um, identifying people are often tasked with, this is my job and this person's just helping out. Notice that dynamic. Now, trust me, that was wonderful that he, he participated in that one room. You needed help, but that room being clean is going to benefit the both of you guys. Okay. And now I said guys and who knows, you know? Um, so that's what it's all about. Charlie Brown is having a life 
with not just a clean home and an organized home. That's just the beginning. The reason I come in here, that would kind of bore me, frankly. And if it's, if, again, if I don't feel like doing it, if I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to have to tell somebody to get some more like, you know, like clear cubes. And this is how you fold your sweaters. I don't care how you fold your sweaters. What I care about is teaching you skills that are going to make it so much easier for your house to be in a way that makes you feel good and function well, that then you have more time and energy and focus to then go and do the things that only you can do on this world, to do the things that bring life to your life before you have no life. Do you really want to? Everybody, do you, uh, do you ever, is it maybe just me? Okay, thank you. Um, do you ever imagine yourself on your deathbed? Now, my husband is in a band. They have a song called Deathbed, so pretty much every gig I would think about it. But when you're on your deathbed looking back at your life, Look at your deathbed, pretend you're everybody. Let's pretend we're dying at 100. 100 years old you are now. Look from now back on a timeline, back to whatever age you are now. And what would your 100 year old person say? 100 year old you living, you know, do you wanna have regrets? Damn, you should have just done that right then. You should have just paid that money. You should have just said hi to that person. You just should have said no to that person. You should have said yes to that opportunity. You know, I wish I had done that. I wish I had done that. We have those regrets right now. We look from here back to our past. We wish we had done something different back then. We can't change that. But right now is the past of tomorrow. Whoa, I totally just made that up. But right now is the past of tomorrow. Tomorrow's past, yeah. What do you wish you had done today? Tomorrow, looking back to today, which maybe it's just even getting on my email mailing list. DestinationDeclutter.com slash join. Next week, we have Wednesday. I'm, I'm not going to be around for this weekend. I'm going away, as I mentioned. Um, but next Wednesday, not only do I do a TikTok Live in the daytime, but for people on the mailing list, we have our group Zoom call. It happens once a month. Maybe that could even get you baby steps in. Everything's a baby step, too. Baby steps your way closer to the things you want to do. Okay? Notice that. Notice, notice, notice. Become aware. Realize that, again, kind of going back to that seriousness. Uh, Jennifer, the group call is um, uh, Wednesday the 21st. I gotta check my email um, or my, my map, my map, I can't even talk. Uh, well, it is a map of time, it's called a calendar. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday the 21st from eight to nine. Okay, they, they aren't recorded, they are, if you show up, you show up, if you don't, you don't. So um, there we go. Linda C says, I should not have spent more time on social media and more time doing my decluttering Okay, yes, but also please um, enjoy yourself, enjoy your life, have a balance. Have and, But balance does not mean 50-50. This is great. So this thing right here, this makes me think of balance. I bought this. I specifically, when I went on a vacation, I wanted to find one of these types of kind of, you know, kind of like a snow dome. Every day, you, the percentage of energy you have is going to be a little bit different than everything else. You're going to have a little bit more energy one day, and then one day you're not going to have any energy that same day, okay? And um, pay attention to the levels of energy you have and the levels of fun versus working. Trust me, I am, a, I am a life coach. I am not a taskmaster. I want you to enjoy the life you have, but also you can do the both. You're not, you don't need to spend 24 hours a day scrolling on TikTok. Unless you do, unless you're so exhausted that all you can do is lay in bed. I have done it myself and I am okay with that. I am good with the decisions I make because I know sometimes I need to recover my energy. So don't beat yourself up, um, but create a balance. Maybe I, you know, declutter for an hour and then I set my timer and I TikTok for an hour and I fart around, but do the both. Enjoy the balance of the things you do and the things you want to do, you know? Um, I love it. Susan Porter says, I enjoy the Zooms. Everyone's friendly in confirmation. I'm not the only one struggling. Thank you for letting me know that. Okay. Uh, D Daniels uh, 58, it says, the back of my couch has become my clean clothes dumping ground. Bad habit. Bad habit. Now, habit that just makes your, your house messy. How about this? I'm going to be on here for another 10 minutes. I don't know if Dan Z, if you're around now, but today in the next 20 minutes, I bet you could put that clothing away if you're around. Okay, GGX2000, notice I feel guilty when I take time for me. Boy, do we want to bust that one. 
But talk about that. When you don't take time for yourself, what kind of life do you have? I want you to have a good life. I want you to feel good with the quantity and quality of your life. And even if the quantity of your years is fewer than the ones behind you, concentrate on the quality of life you have. And feeling guilty removes a good quality of life. Guilt. Where did it come from? I know where it came from. You want to do something different? You want to feel less guilty? You can practice that. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Catherine says, I had a chair. I did that with. Yeah. Most of us. I, I might have a chair in my bedroom coming up. Might not. But I have to make sure that it just doesn't become a dumping ground for clean or dirty clothes. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And notice, C. Fitzhenry says, pick a divider. Each time you wear something, put it on one side of the divider. Two months, what side is left with you haven't worn? Yeah, a lot of people talk about, and that's a great idea, Connie, is to, to pay attention. Be mindful. Notice what you're wearing and notice what you're not wearing. And if you notice the stuff you're not wearing and kind of make a plan to wear it, if you're still not wearing it, realize that you're probably not going to wear it. Okay? Yeah, have some fun with it. Have some fun with it. And look at um, Danzilla. <laughs> Linda C. is cheering you on. We're all cheering ourselves on. We are all on this road trip called life. Now, today is this, and your destination is here. This could also be birth. That could also be death. What, you know, the dash. My, my cousin recited that at her, my, my aunt's funeral, the dash. What are you going to do with the dash between the year you were born and the year you, um, you die? What's the quality and quantity of life? How many lives did you help? When you help yourself, you will help other people better. I would not be here helping you if I hadn't been able to help myself. I would be sitting here on the receiving end of this type of stuff and being afraid to do things. So let me encourage you that quieting down the guilt and doing something for yourself will help other people as well. Judy just said, made a list, music going on shortly, list tackled, can do just about anything with the right music. Notice what works for you and do that, okay? Oh, that's also, that's awesome. Nisi says, I am so thankful for you, Beth. Just started three days ago and loving the result. Awesome. A little bit every time. Keep it up every day. Encourage yourself. Yeah, the beautiful poem, the dash. Google it, you guys. It'll bring a tear to your eye. Um, all right, you know you have too much clutter when you wondered if a total house fire would be a relief. El Prince, I will tell you this. No, I had a potential client that told me she had a whole house fire. And what she discovered was it actually became worse after the fire because they didn't change their habits and actually everybody felt bad for them. So they donated a bunch of stuff. They had even more they could deal with. Okay. So pay attention. This is how I coach. I can be in the shallow end of the pool, like nobody's business. We can touch upon how to fold something, but if you don't realize why you're not folding, if you don't pay attention to how your stuff is making you feel, you're going to repeat those same things over and over again. You're also going to see where this crops up in other, any areas of your, your, your life. This is how I life coach and this is how I declutter life coach. It is a dance between these things because here's the deal. You know what to do up here. You know the actions to take, but if you're not taking them, if you are not acting, if you're not moving and you've got a thought in your head, but your hands are not moving, that's because you have a roadblock in your heart. And when I say heart, I mean your nervous system, your feeling system, your, your, your thoughts, your feelings, your humanity, what makes you human is either encouraging you or discouraging you. It's fearful or it's full of love. It's afraid of getting hurt, but also maybe afraid of, maybe the fear of not living a life you wanna live and it's almost over, could be the fear of just getting started, okay? Now, I keep on flicking around, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, texts from friends, because we're all gonna to get together tonight and um, walk ourselves through this tragedy of our dear friend dying. Um, and I feel completely grateful that I have friends that I can do that with. Um, I want to help you get through your life. I am here for you. I am just another kind of universe. The universe sent me to you to say, to remind you of something you know all along is I'm not here for forever. How do I want my life to be? What do I want my legacy to be? And even just to myself, I want to know that I lived a good life. I already have, so I want to do more of it. I want to keep on the trajectory I am, and I know how to do that. If you don't know what to do, I can help you. 
as I said, get on the mailing list, destinationdecluttered.com slash join. Let me become your one-on-one -on -one coach. Pay me to be your coach. People love it. I love it. It's the way to get there the fastest, you know? And um, yeah, okay, yep, thank you, everybody. But no, use my loss as your motivation. Use this as a reminder, please. That's what I, uh, for. this is how I guess I'm wired, or I, I have been able to cope with things better, to say, what can I pull out of this bad situation? What can I learn from this? How can I benefit? How can others? And my feelings will not bring my friend back. But what I can do with that feeling of loss is to implore you from the bottom of my heart, notice the feelings, to start to live a life you want to live, to stop delaying living the life you want to live, to stop delaying the decisions that are going, that are keeping you, that, that would get you to where your home is looking the way you want it to look. Because when your home looks better, when you see visible evidence of you doing something and making your life better, that reminds you of the power you have. You have power. Use it wisely. Use your powers to make your life better for yourself. And when you do that and your heart is in the right place for yourself, you will have a positive ripple effect and you will help other people. I am just an example of that. I worked on myself. I figured some stuff out. This is how I've always been as I get excited about what I discover and I want to share it with people. I think that's why I used to like, you know, go antiquing and thrifting. Oh my gosh, check it out. I found this piece of Pyrex at the thrift store for four bucks. Isn't this cool? I want to share the excitement of something I've discovered and learned with you. That's kind of part of my DNA. One of the things that brings me joy, creating order out of chaos, helping people with whatever resources that I have, um, helping people feel less fearful about their lives because I know what it's like to fear your future. And I am so grateful that I somewhere found the strength in me, baby stepsing it back in the 90s to say, I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to start doing this. Now the 90s, I feel like was just a decade away. I know it's a few more, but the more I started paying attention to those things, the quicker my life changed. I want your life to change in a way that feels right to you. It's not an overnight process, but it's worth it's a journey worth starting because you will feel good. You will feel empowered on the way. Look at me. I am, I am driving, I am driving in the direction of the life that I want. I am leaving tomorrow to go to Palm Springs, California again. I was there a few weeks ago and I had the opportunity to go back. I'm going to be wearing my fancy earrings. And you know why? Because I don't want to say I said no to this opportunity. I say yes to the opportunity and I figured out and I have a lot of fun planned. Do not deny yourself the stuff you want, but also make sure that you're, you know, do it in a way that feels right to you. Okay? Yeah, 20, yeah, exactly, Susan Porter. 20 years ago was 1987. Sure feels like it, doesn't it? I am telling you. Because as we get older, I can't believe I'm an old person. When my mother used to say, yeah, life is like a, a toilet paper roll. The closer you get to the end, the faster it goes. <laughs> my mother is filled with a lot of sayings. Maybe that's where I get a lot of my sayings-isms. But it does. I can't believe it's freaking 40 years since I graduated high school. I cannot believe we are 24 years from the year 2000. 24 years. Almost a quarter of a century next year. 25 years into the year 2021. I mean, the, the year, year 2001, whatever. Whatever. Where are we? Yeah, tw you know, the year 2525. No, you know, the 21st century. That's what I was trying to say. Not the 20th century. 25 years into the 21st century. Yeah, notice that. I can't believe that as of, you know, May, my husband and I will have been married 22 years and been in this house for 19. Time flies when you're having fun, but also time flies whether you're having fun or not. <laughs> time flies whether you're having fun or not. So make sure you're having fun. What can you do today to make your home look and feel and function better? Maybe what you do to make your life feel better is say, you know what, F that, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna declare some time for myself. But then notice that the way your house looks has a, has a indicator on how you feel in your home. And where you spend your home is a lot of where you spend your time. So if you upgrade how you feel in your home, and, I'm, and when I say upgrade, I don't mean changing anything but the quantity and quality of the stuff in your home. 
If you decrease the quantity and increase the quality, it's the same process. Get rid of you what you don't want, and suddenly what you're left with is what you do want. You will feel better every time you walk through your house. And the cumulative effect of feeling better in that area will radiate out. Okay? Okay. Rhinestone Cowgirl, advice for a small business owner that sells antiques online, but storage has to be in home due to money. Yeah, sell more antiques. And make sure you're selling as much as you are bringing in. It's a flow. Trust me, I've done it before. I have helped my sister with that. Make sure that the, the, the amount of things that are flowing out is analogous to or greater than the amount of stuff that's coming in. And if you are, if you love the thrifting part, if you love the, 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 the collecting part of it, make sure that if you want to, if you're doing that for money, that you are also loving how you're getting those things out. Because if this is a trickle and this is a deluge, man, your house is going to be chaotic. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's my issue. I love the buying. Yeah. We love it. And it overflows the selling. Spend as much time or more. Say to yourself, this is amount, this is kind of a time management thing. And I use breeze blocking, but say to yourself, it doesn't mean I have to do either or, but in any given week that you have allocated to your small business, readjust the amount of time you spend doing those things. Decrease the amount that you spend thrifting, increase the amount you spend getting stuff into the selling area to rebalance that. Okay. I've been there. I know. I moved into this house. We moved into this house with what I say, like four couches, 17 lamps and a crap load of tchotchkes because I used to sell mid-century modern and vintage things and I had to empty out my selling space because we moved from state to state and I couldn't get down there anymore and I wasn't in a position I couldn't make a decision I don't know what I'm going to need in this house I don't know what's going to fit so we brought it all here oh my gosh this it's like our basement in this house is huge and that's a danger because the more space you have the more you can put off making the decisions I speak from first-hand experience but then what we did was we said, okay, which one of these couches do we like the best? We like this one? Okay. Then what do we do to kind of get rid of the other ones? And it's a lather, rinse, repeat. Yes, Palm Springs is a mid-century modern mecca. That's why I'm going there with my, um, with my earrings. My friend Minty made them to me. I am also um, volunteering at uh, Modernism Week this week because that's something that brings me joy. And I said I want to do that at least once in my life. So that's why I'm very excited about um, going there. Um, Oh, yeah, my husband just was sharing a dream he had about our friend who passed. Um, yeah, it's, you know what? Make sure your life is one that you're psyched about and do some things. Take some declarative actions. Make some bold statements and know that if you're moving in the direction of the life you want, that it is not energy wasted. Be brave about it. I was afraid to talk to my husband when I first met him. I spoke to him. We have been now together almost 25 years. None of that would have happened. I couldn't yell down the hallway to this guy who I love if I did not take a scary shortcut and just say, hey, you, hey, somebody told me I'd like your band. <laughs> oh, I feel really weird. But boy, did it work out. I never would have said hey to him if I wasn't in California at a music festival because I was afraid to travel across the country alone I had never been to LA before, never mind alone, but I did these things because that was the life I wanted to live. I was drawn towards people I thought I would have common interests in, um, music that I was interested in. Pay attention to what draws you forward and do more of that. Pay attention to the things that you're repelled by, do less of that. Same thing with your stuff in your house. Pay attention to the things that your heart leans into. I love this. Oh my gosh, see this thing, it lights me up. Pay attention to the stuff that you're like, I'm done with that. It doesn't work. I want to get rid of it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Total. Dan Zill, Groupie. I had a, I had a t-shirt company for a number of years called Groupie Gear. I did. GroupieGear.com. I don't know how, you know, for a while there, I let the, um, I let the URL lapse and a, a Todd Rundgren fan had it, but it was because I know what it's like to, um, be a fan of something um, but also women get no respect. So I, that was a little bit of my kind of thing. But yes, I followed the band and I fell in love and I made a life for myself because I followed my heart. And I learned what was important to me and I met other cool people. Like it changed my life to take this scary leap when I was in Massachusetts and in Boston to fly out to LA and do something I've never done before. Okay, TYAA, I know you gotta go. Thank you for you. 
okay? I get like five minutes and then I get to go. Um, I got some really cool packing cubes, new ones I splurged um, because my other ones were kind of falling apart and these are definitely like a kind of a poochie print thing and I thought it'd be perfect for Palm Springs as well as other. Um, so I'm gonna pack, um, we're gonna get together with our friends, we're gonna make some stuff happen. We're decluttering the basement today because some speakers my husband doesn't want. We're driving down to Philly and we're gonna um, give them to a friend who wants them. So all of these things can happen at the same time, okay? So uh, Michelle says, we were never promised a tomorrow. Any day above ground is a good one. Let's make the most of what is, yeah. And those things can sound really good, but I want you to take action on that shit, Jay. I want everybody to not just think, oh, that sounds nice on a pillow and that's good for some people. No, today, do something, okay? Yeah, there you go. Becky is saying, I implemented a way to control my kitchen by not adding to the chaos, okay? So, yeah. Whatever works for you, works for you. Now let me share this with you, knowing that we only have a few minutes left. So typically I will say this, and some people know when I'm gonna show up and do a TikTok, a pop-up TikTok, as I like to call them on the weekends, because I typically don't schedule um, TikTok lives during the weekend. I like to have my weekends to myself, because that's just how I roll. However, sometimes on the weekends I think, oh, I could do that, so I do. So those of you on the email mailing list know when I'm gonna be doing a TikTok live pop-up. I will say this, this weekend, not gonna happen. I leave at like 3 a.m. tomorrow to get to Palm Springs from Pennsylvania and I hit the ground running and I am chock-a-block full with wonderful things I am so excited to happen. I want you to create a day in a life of yours where you are looking forward to a day that is chock-a-block full of things you wanna happen, a life that's chock-a-block full. God, my Boston accent's coming up. Chock-a-block full with stuff you wanna happen. What are some things you wanna happen? Get them on your calendar. Make them happen. Chunk it down until you can make those things happen. Okay. Um, you know what? Ridestone is asking, was it really hard to let go of some of your mid-century treasures at first? It was. But you know what? What I realized is some things fit. Some things worked in this environment. Some things just didn't work. I, it took me a long time. It was, it was, I literally have like Facebook memories from 11 and 12 years ago when I had already started to do like a garage sale and then a yard sale. And then I put some things to auction and then I gave some things away. It takes, it's not a one and done. It's combing through it. But the thing was, is that after I set up this home, like we knew we didn't need that other stuff. And it was just, a, a, it was unfortunate that if that stuff stayed in our home, it wouldn't get out to a person who though they're, they're, the stuff would look good in their house. Okay, yes, okay, I love it. Virtual Cat saying, have the best time and live your dash. I am living my dash like nobody's business. And the wonderful thing is too, I wanna leave you with this, is when you are living your dash, when you are, and again, if you haven't heard the, the, the poem, the dash, when you are living a life you love, you don't just get to enjoy that, but people around you can smell it. People can hear it, people can feel it. People you don't know, people on TikTok, for example, that maybe I'm inspiring to do something for yourself, but also you can be an inspiration to people you don't even know. You can be an inspiration to the generation behind you. You can show them a different way to live, not with a bunch of stuff, but with a quality of life that has nothing to do with what you've purchased, okay? Um, I, as I said, I will not be doing any TikTok, pop-up TikTok lives this weekend. However, Wednesday, February 21st, noontime Eastern. That's the next time I'm going to be doing a um, scheduled TikTok. So be there, be square, um, or be a parallelogram, I guess as Mark from Ork would say. And then also, if you get on the Destination Decluttered mailing list, destinationdecluttered.com slash join. Next month, uh, Wednesday night, the 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern, we have our group, coach, uh, our group call. It's a wonderful time, okay? I hope that some of what I have said to you stays with you even when you don't hear me physically. I want you to hear the echo of my words in your heart. I want you to move towards a life that you love and move away from the stuff that just doesn't do it for you anymore. Yep, okay. So yeah, Jennifer, noon for everybody, eight next night, uh, the next night just for people on the mailing list. You can show up for both, you can show up for neither, it's up to you, okay, yep. Wednesday noon, actually there is a, um, there is a, uh, an e excuse me, a video that I posted, I pinned to the top of my TikTok page that shows you when I'm gonna be doing it because next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm doing TikTok Lives. Look at that, show up and do that. And also, if you haven't um, followed my TikTok page, you can even just start with that, okay? 
I am going to have a wonderful time in Palm Springs. I will come back with even more energy and um, I will have a great weekend, but you have a good weekend too. You do something that you are excited to do, do something you're scared to do, and make sure that everything you do is driving in the direction of your dreams, okay? I will see you next week. Bye. Love you guys. You got this. You got this. There we go.